Tonight, on the heels of new guidance to increase homeless camp removals, city leaders and state lawmakers got together with one goal, address the city's urgent homeless crisis. At 10 o'clock, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. City Commissioner Dan Ryan joined county commissioners as well as state lawmakers for this town hall meeting. And our Jennifer Dowling followed that meeting and takes us through ideas that came out of that discussion tonight. Jennifer? Good evening. Well, one of the big topics tonight was urgency. State Representative Lisa Reynolds saying we shouldn't be around the bush any longer. She says the crisis has never been more severe than it is today. City Commissioner Dan Ryan, who oversees the Housing Bureau and Joint Office of Homeless Services, says one of his own brothers struggled with addiction and mental health challenges. We couldn't house him um, because of where he was at currently in his life. Commissioner Ryan says his brother died on the streets around eight years ago. He feels, quote, we have to meet people where they are and is working with the county to create safe rest villages. I requested and hope to receive full support for 20 million from the American Rescue Plan to create these managed villages on land made available by the shelter to housing continuum code changes. At the county level, Multnomah County Commissioner Sharon Myron says she's proposed creating a network of outdoor shelter sites with hygiene services, including toilets, safe heating and power, garbage and recycling collection, and outfitted with dry insulated sleeping structures. Ideally, there would be a range of sizes of sites where people could sleep safely from small ones, eight to 10 folks, to safe parking sites, to larger, more structured village type models. State Representative Lisa Reynolds, who represents parts of downtown and Old Town, says the homeless crisis hits close to home. I have a mentally ill brother who has, has mostly been housed, but he has had periods of time when he's been unhoused. She talked about state efforts to tackle the crisis, including putting a state moratorium on evictions to avoid putting more people on the street and funneling hundreds of millions of dollars in rent support to tenants and rent reimbursements for landlords, along with funding a hotel program. The state also started a $65 million program so that um, different organizations could purchase hotels to serve as, I think, kind of medium term shelter, especially, which was especially important in COVID. And Representative Reynolds also says that the state is working to open more navigation centers where people can access services that help them with health care and permanent housing. Also, she says they're looking to slightly expand funding for mobile crisis units. Back to you in the studio.